good Tuesday morning to you. Thank you for this day, Lord, we've never seen before. You know, um, I wanted to share something this morning. This was a conversation. Let me get over here. This was a conversation yesterday, and sometimes when I'm giving my opinion or, you know, feedback, I don't know how it's received, you know what I mean? So um, I was like, ooh, I got a story. I got a whole story about that, you know, because in life, we experience so many things, right? And I know, I know that the things that I experienced, the things that I went through, I know that I know that that my purpose is to help to help other people that's going through the similar or same situations, and that's why I'm constantly sharing. And I don't mind. I'm not shame about it. You can't shame me about nothing I'm already talking about. So, um, as a single parent, sometimes it can be hard raising kids by yourself, right? Um, and I remember a time when I was working on where I'm working at now. I was on second shift because I just started. So you know, which once you when you just start, you got to go through the process to get on. You need to get on the shift that you want. So the shift that I wanted to get on was first shift, but I started out on second. Nevertheless, um, I had a teenager and a and a, and a um. I think my, my daughter was a teenager. My son was like in elementary school, maybe. Yeah, because she was 15. And so I was at work that I forgot what day. I cannot remember what day it was. But I remember that Richland County called me and said that my child was in Belks in Sand Hill. And they were stealing a pair of Ray-Ban sunglasses. Lord Jesus, um, yes, I left work. I, I remember it was raining so hard that day. Left work, went there. Um, so I get inside. They, you know, I tell them who I am. They lead me to the loss prevention department. Um, she's sitting back there in uh, hand in the little zip ties, right? So they re they released her into my custody because she was of age. Um, she wasn't of age. And uh, I'm like, what, what's going on? Like, what, what were you thinking? Why? You know, just didn't understand this because she had money in her pocket. So I just didn't understand that. And uh, she was with someone and um, they took her there because she didn't had no car, had no license. So she rode with somebody from, from Camden all the way to Columbia to steal a pair of red brand sunglasses. Who knows why? And I was just so embarrassed. I was so hurt. I was so, and every emotion I was, <laughs> every single emotion, I, I felt it, right? And so, um, I had a conversation with her. Um, I don't think I went, I didn't go back to work, no. Um, and I was just like, I didn't understand that. That's just, that's just one incident. That ain't, that ain't all of them. This is one. And I was beating myself up about um, what had happened. And I just didn't, because I didn't understand and I was like, well, maybe it's because I'm working a second shift and I'm not there. But even when I'm there, am I really there? Because, you know, a lot of times parents, uh, for me, let me just speak for me. A lot of times I was in the home, but I, I wasn't present because I was I was going through stuff and trying to be in relationships and trying to hang out and have fun. And I was trying to do all kinds of stuff. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I own, I own my part in it also. And... Um, that your kids are going to do things that make absolutely no sense and it has nothing to do with you so don't beat yourself up about things that they may do you can you can it's like it's like a bow and arrow right you can you can you can give them everything that they need right you can aim them in the right direction and once they become an adult you let them go right you gotta let them go they, and they're gonna go through things in life and as a parent you just you just you just there to support them and be there for them right regardless of the dumb stuff that they may do okay so um being that she was of age we had to go to um they gave me this paperwork so we had to do this little thing where um we had to meet uh, we had to meet like i want to say once a week we had to meet at the at the um place at the richmond county whatever that building is the police department we had to meet there and we had to go she had to take this this, this course or whatever she had to write a letter you know, the scared straight thing, she had to do that as well. I remember I had to take her there like about, I think we had to be there like about 10 or 11 that night. They brought her back maybe like three in the morning to pick, pick them up. And they wrote letters and saying they were sorry and they apologized. And that was the, that was a, that was a program in order to get this thing expunged off their record because it's like first time offender, first time offender thing. Um, So 
just know that <laughs> just know that in life your kids are going to do stuff they are if they haven't already done and it, it don't beat yourself up about it you know being a single parent is rough trying to trying to be 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 everywhere <laughs> you're trying to provide for them and then you're trying to you're trying to beat it it's just it's so it's only so much you can do okay and as and, and if you have you have a support system it's good to have a support system especially when you're working and you're not always there you gotta have your, you gotta have another set of eyes on them right you know back in the days other people could be like, I see your child songs or something, but now nowadays anybody gonna say nothing because these kids cussing people out, fight people, fight grown people. So you gotta be mindful of that nowadays, right? But just be aware of what's going on and really, and really just be present, right? Because I know, I know, I, I for years, you know, I'm, I'm gonna own myself. I was in the home, but I wasn't present. I was broken, I was lost, and I didn't even know it. When you know when you know better you do better i did what i could with all the with the information and the tools i had at the time kids don't come with instructions they just don't right you do your best don't beat yourself up and don't let the other parent make you feel bad about what the, the child's behavior because it takes two to raise a child right and if they and if both parties are not involved then it's on one right so don't beat your if you I mean, if you're the main parent like i said don't beat yourself up do the best that you can um there are programs uh, i see if there are programs in your area like big brother big sister you know i was actually trying to work on that myself but you know um the world just just got spit upside down for me and i'm okay with that and um yeah um just see if they had any kind of program to help to help with your with your kids and stuff something that can encourage them and, 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 and give them something positive to do because an idle mind, and you know an idle mind, they'll do all kinds of stuff. And I, and I watched this show and it's so many young kids missing and so many young kids, um, you know, just, you know, in the system, period, right? So um, with that being said, I just wanted to share this story um, with you all because I know someone needs it and I wanted to share that because I was that person that was beating myself up about the things that my, my child was doing and I was doing my best or at least I thought I was right and, and, and stuff like this is going to happen <laughs> as sure as you live you know I think I think God just teaches us lessons through through our kids through other people life is, life is just a bunch of lessons okay a bunch of tests you gotta, you gonna fail or you gonna pass. And even if you fail, you you, you you take you take the stuff that you did wrong and you do it differently, right? So, just wanted to share that little that little nugget with you. I have so many stories, and um, a lot of times, um, um, questions that are asked, I be mean, like, oh, and it just kind of like bring back those memories of what happened, right? Things that I have actually experienced. And if anybody got any more topics they would like for me to discuss that I have experience in, I do not mind sharing. I do not mind talking about. I absolutely love it, as you can tell. And so I wanted to share that this morning because I know that in, 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 a, in a, being a single parent, things, things are going to happen. Your kids are going to do crazy things. And it's not, don't beat yourself up, okay? Don't beat, forgive yourself. you got to constantly forgive your kids. you got to constantly... Um, forgive yourself, you know, your kids, I think God gives us kids to show us unconditional love, period, because you're just going to love them no matter what they do, <laughs> no matter who they become, you're going to love them, period, okay, so, um, that's my, that's my take on that, um, any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to reach out to me, to um, inbox me, or DM me, or if you have my number personally, text me. Um, if you don't, then we don't know each other well enough to do that. <laughs> That's all I got this morning, guys. Have the most amazing Tuesday. If you can't have a good day, don't you dare go messing up for nobody else. Peace and love.